Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we have another unbagging, so let's get at it and see what is inside. It's quite big. Let me pull everything out here. Make sure everything's out of the bag. All right. I will be right back in just a minute. All right, I am back. This is a bag from biggestcraft.com, and it's going to be in three parts, so this is part one. They have so many good things. Just love it. Let's open this up and see what it is. Do you think they have a big enough bag here? Okay, let me just set the bag aside. Well, first thing, we have a tool kit with a seam ripper, a thimble. Haven't figured that one out. Five needles, a poof ball, a needle threader, and a bobbin. Cool. I like those little kits. They come in handy. And like I said, this is not very big. Let's get down here to the the picture. I will insert a picture of this here. All right, that way you can see what it is. But it just looked real summery, you know, like you could be sitting out on a little patio and drinking your lemonade, and it's it's just beautiful. So, like I said, it's not very big. Now, it says it's 83. Now, this 83 by 65 is not the size. Um, you know, like, it's not 83 centimeters by 65. It is that in the squares per inch. does have the product number in here. And in a very small little thing here, does show you how to... It has your instructions on what to do before and during and afterwards. Now, this key will be the same on the canvas. It has 24 colors, which is quite nice. It is an 11 count, but it just looked summery. And you know, some days you just need sunshine in and happy thoughts. And yeah, it is what it is, what it is. So, yeah, it does have the thread color. This is very light in color, so it doesn't give a full look at the actual color size, but it is big enough, and you can see all the the symbols really clear. It's not a great rendition. I've seen better, but hey, we'll go with it. Let's take a look at the colors. I like how they do that sometimes. They put the thread, you know, in a separate little pouch, so to speak, which is nice. Now let's see if we can get this undone here. It's been mooshed together, and it's got 24 colors, so it doesn't have too many colors, or threads, you know, because it's not very big. You, you saw how big that was, but let's take a look. And they're nice and long, nice and soft. We have some purples and some grays, some oranges. Look at that bittersweet. Mm, isn't that pretty color? And gold. Look at the greens. And this is kind of a greenish gray. Just beautiful. And it does have some, uh, it is a full counter coverage before I forget. Yeah. And little browns, like a rusty brown. And charcoal gray and yellow for the, like, uh, for the, the lemons it's just beautiful just beautiful mm. Mm -mm -mm. they'll be nice let's roll that up real lightly and as you know your your needles are all in here so it's 
not attached on this. Let me lay that all up there so it doesn't get separated. And let's take a look at the canvas. Now from what, I have some piece of fuzz on my finger. It is surged all the way around. Not very big. Let me look on my piece of paper here. It's called Kitchen Accessories with Lemonade. It is 25 by 21. It was $5.99. Let's see how big. So it's 25 that way. And 21 that way. Well, that's good. does have a nice big key here. And like I said, it's not very big at all. The actual picture size is see a little over 19 centimeters which is about seven and a half by 15 centimeters which is almost so six by six by seven <coughs> so if you wanted to you could kind of center it in an eight by ten frame yeah the symbols look nice and bright and vivid you do so the background that's why I said it's full coverage but it's not very big. I've never seen one of these kits that it doesn't have the name of the company that makes them, but I haven't seen one in a very long time that wasn't pretty big. I'm just cutting off the end of the surging thread here. It's kind of whacked out over here. But yeah, I'll try to I'll double it a little just so you can see the the uh, holy cow what is it the symbols it looks a little confetti to me just a little mm -hmm. except for that background that's about it but it is a little confetti there's some nice bigger places but yeah it's pretty much confetti everywhere but nice easy to read thing you can read the DMC number the symbol and then the thread number there's a little tiny picture there. I don't know why they bother. Seriously, I can't see that. But yeah, in the picture you'll see it is pretty, what do you call it? Well, it, let's start again. It'll be amazing to see how descriptive it looks. And you may want, this might be one that you want to add back stitching to if you do carry on you know I I have to see it all together to see what it looks like because right now it just looks like this big old blob but I'm sure the colors will make the difference and everything will look peachy you know and look so much better once it's stitched it's but see when I see confetti I see the definition you know it's defined and it's shaded you know you have variegations of colors so it'll be different but I wanted to try one of the smaller ones to see what it was like now I think there are others in this same size category you know for different things I, it may be the same size as the one I got with the oranges I'm not real sure I do believe that that one was a little bit bigger and I think it was a 14 count but I could be wrong. So I'll have when I go back, you know, I'll have to look and see if there's any more in this series. But it's a nice little size. And it doesn't even tell you on the I hate this paper. It doesn't even tell you how big it is on this piece of paper. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But it's interesting and it's an eleven count, so right up my alley. So, we'll see. Let's take a look at the next one. I'll take it out of the bag so you can see what it actually looks like. Now, from my way of thinking, this may be made by the same company. It's packaged pretty much the same. It does have another seam ripper, five needles, a poop ball, a thimble, a bobbin, and a threader. I'm collecting threaders. Soon I'll have a whole bag of them. 
and lots of extra needles. They look very nice. They're, they're not rusted. They don't look old. I love that. Very easy. Let's get to the picture here. See what it looks like. Nice long piece. Now, I'll show you this picture. It's a lady with a field of red flowers and there's some yellow. I don't know if that's wheat or not right looking at this. But I will insert a picture right here. All right. But yeah, it has some real pretty colors in it, as you can see. It is a 30 by 40, so it's a little bit bigger than the last one that I showed you. It's 148 by 104, and it is an 11 count. I had to look. does have the instructions down here. This is nice and big. It's way bigger than the, the last one. But this one's very easy to read all the symbols compared to that last one that was all mishmashed. This is still a little bit of pale, I mean as far as the printing goes, but you can see all the colors running down the side. This has 38 colors. And let's see. Beautiful symbols. This will match the ones on the actual canvas. So lots of beautiful colors. I love those reds and that field of red flowers. I think it's going to be beautiful. This looks a little confetti, but yet this picture is much better than the last picture. It's not as small, so it's very easy to see all of the symbols, at least for me. If you want, you can blow it up. You can do whatever you want. And it is a full coverage. So very nice. And it does say DMC threads there. So... Let's take a look at the beautiful colors. Hold that thought. Got to get this folded just right or it's going to go bing. I hate that. I wish they could find something else. Now that they got it big enough, find something else to print that on. Because it's all staticky and very hard. Another mush together threads. But like I said, it's packaged just like same like the other one. We got threads going in every direction here, and I got a a, a loose thread here. I don't know. He must have missed it, the boat when they tied him on. But I see where he goes, so I'm gonna put him back right now, so that he doesn't get lost. And then I'll show you the thread. Hang in there, folks. It'll be fine. Every once in a while I have a loose thread or one that's too long. But let's take a look. Let me shake it down. Nice long threads. They're very soft. Not super soft, but they're soft enough. They feel like DMC. Just beautiful colors. Just beautiful. Look at that brown and that blue together. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Assuming that might be the sky... Possibly. You never can tell. And let's look at these. If I can just get my hand in there. Just beautiful. Golds, reds. I don't know. It, it, I think it's like a summer picture, you know, because all the flowers are in bloom. And everything's green. There is some yellows up in the trees there. But just beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. And it's lots of thread here for a 30 by 40. Wow. Just beautiful. Look at those reds and oranges and golds. You got like a dusty blue. And then a like a blue gray. And some grays. Greens, oranges. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. We will see. Just, mm. I like the, the colors in this better than I do the other one. And I did like the picture. I just like the little picture. Be a cute little picture to put in your kitchen, you know, 
it wasn't very big, nice and small. So, yeah, let's take a look at the canvas. So, as you can see, it's not very big at all. Holy cow! Mmm, it's like the smaller these things are, the more confetti they are. This kind of runs like a, a river, if you will. A straight river here, you know, with the variegation of the, the colors. Mmm. So it says it's a 30 by 40. Let's see. Guess I expect 30 by 40 to be smaller. Hang on, I'm trying to get it to lay down. So we're at 41 over here. And 30 this way. So that's right. And the actual picture is 14, which is 35 and a half. 14 by, trying, by 24, which is 9 and a half. So it's almost 10. 10 by 14. Pretty close. So, yeah. Very nice. I'm going to fold it in half for you. I mean, you can see all of the, the symbols really well. Very brightly like brightly stamped you have a little bit of big areas right here at the top and a little going in across the bottom a little bit a little bit big up here but yeehaw I don't know this looks a little off maybe not I mean I'll start in one corner I never start in the middle but it just looks a little bit off Maybe it's just the symbol itself. Because these look okay. Maybe it's just the symbol, the way it looked. I thought, oh no, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, that one from Joy Sunday, that's the one and only I've ever had from Joy Sunday. That it was not printed on, you know, the actual square. Does that make sense? It's like the machine was off when it was made. I'm just cutting the little. It is surged all the way around, which is nice. It has 38 colors. Holy cow. Like I said, the numbers on this and the symbols are everything is the same. So if you have to refer to this, I mean, you could, I can see them all very clearly. You can see the I'll bring it up. The actual squares, you know, there in that light color. So, it's very easy to read. And sometimes in these, when it's so confettied, that, um, yeah. It's hard to read the symbol for me. So, I might have to come back over here and go, okay, the one, two, three, four, five, six, you know. And count till I get to that symbol that's a line that I can't see, let's say. So that I can look it up, you know, here. And what color it is. But these are printed very well and the colors all match. So in case there's three up and down ones. And one's blue, one's red, and one's green. Maybe the green is close to the blue. So sometimes, yeah, I have to little, I either wing it or I, I have to look it up, you know, so... And there's nothing wrong with looking it up and referring to your chart, but I do like the fact that it all matches, if you will. I'm having hard trouble with words today. But you know what I mean? It, it's, it's very nice that I can go, okay, now that one is actually a green one. Okay, so I go over here and I find my green symbol. So, because sometimes they get so close, or they put blues with greens, sometimes it's a little hard to differentiate. But yeah, this is going to be, for something this small, this is going to take as long as a huge one. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I do like the picture. I love all those red flowers and the yellow up in here. And then you got a house. I think it's a good size. I really do. 
I'm, I'm liking that 30 by 40. Have you noticed I've, I've been swaying to that, that niche of 30 to 40 centimeters? If the picture's good, you know, we'll see how much shows up. It just depends on the picture. If there's too much going on, then it's not going to show up. I'm, I'm sorry. It just, it isn't. I did a diamond painting. I got it, and it was about this size. And it was a picture of, like, it had a house, and then it had a barn, and then it had, like, a, I'll call it a corral. A corral here, and then there was something else over here, and there was a horse out there in the pasture. That's in the pasture, but it was all kind of fenced in, and it did have the fences. It it just had, and then there was somebody coming up the lane. There was just so much going on that you'd had to stand 60 feet away from that to see what it actually was. So be careful, be cautious about what you're, you're looking at. Oh yeah, it's a great picture, but what's it going to translate to canvas? and how big the canvas actually is. I mean, if you have to, go get your tape measure. Okay, it says it's a 30 by 40, so I want to see just how big 30 centimeters is. You know, test it out, and then confer with the picture. If it has way too much going on, and it's way too small of a canvas, then I would walk away. I, I would. But lately, I've been trying to get things where they're up closer, and the more simplified the picture, the better it's going to look in the end. So just be, be cautious. All right, guys. Well, like I said, this is from Biggest Crap. They do have cross-stitch, back-stitch, um, back-stitch. They have cross-stitch in counted and pre-stamped. They do not have diamond painting. They have latch hook stuff. They have crafts for cross stitch. And they have embroidery. Uh, what am I trying to think of? And they usually have good sales and free shipping on, you know, over a certain amount. Usually it's $49.00. I will put all that information in the description below. Um, they have over 8,000 cross stitches, and I know that they probably have more than that. They always have a uh, separate section for new arrivals and stuff. And they do have a separate Joy Sunday section, so if that's your game and you really like to do... Uh, Joy Sunday stuff, or because they do have Joy Sunday does have 14 and 11 count, which is very nice, and yeah, it it's just an not an all around store, but everything you'd ever need for cross stitch and embroidery, or even to do um, what do you call it, punch needle, that kind of thing. So, and they have threads and Q-snaps. Now, I call them Q-snaps. They're not Q-snaps. They're like Q-snap, if you will, brand. And hoops and scissors and, what do you call it, accessories. So, it, and it's a nice big store. I love it. I, if I'm looking for something, this is, I've ordered from them personally probably three times. Um, so, and every time. I have been totally happy with what I've gotten. Now, this um, arrived yesterday, so it took almost a month to get here. So, it was like the 5th, and I ordered it on the 9th, so you got to allow for, when, let's say, three days later, their shipping. So, a little under a month, but considering everything, you know, that is still good. So, I like that part. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me, and thank you, Biggest Craft, for sending me these beautiful products. And there will be part two later on today. So, thank you for joining me.
Have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Keep stitching.